It's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am here today with a very small, very strange planner haul. So typically I get plain planner goodies and I cannot wait and I rip into them and I start using them or I get them and I save them for a planner haul and then I have like two things because I don't order planner supplies that often. I either make my own, you know, I've got a million things for the shop now so there's not as much reason to go out and buy other things or I've got just oodles and oodles like if I showed you my craft room right now you'd be like yeah you don't need to buy anything for a long time so either way I just thought I'd hop on real quick and I'd share you share with you what I did get recently um, some fun stuff in here and some strange stuff but Either way, I thought I'd share. So the first thing I got was from Station Stickers. And this was my first time ordering from her shop now that she's not on Etsy anymore. And she had so many pretty things and I filled up my cart with like a million different things and then I realized I don't have any money. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got what I went for, which was the blush half boxes with the rose gold foil. There we go. If you guys watch my planner plan with me videos, you realize probably recognize these because I use them almost every week for something. And then I'd grabbed a sheet of the little flags. I use these for quarter boxes or appointment labels or whatever because they correspond and I just think they're pretty. All right, so I guess I'll show you what I got from Foxy Fix next. So this is my first. Foxy Fix. It's also is not, it is new, but it is not brand new from the shop. Um, it is from a buy, sell, and trade page. It is the Autumn Rose, and I have been coveting this since it came out, but I just really don't have any use for it, and so I haven't bought it because what's the point of buying something if you don't have any use for it? And I really wanted it. It's a B6 size. And I'm really excited about it. But again, I just have no idea what I'm going to use it for. So we will have to come up with something. Because it's too pretty to sit on my shelf. And... Yeah. So if I don't use it... I don't know. I'm going to have to put a timeline on this. If I don't use it in like six months, then... Then I have to sell it because there's no reason it needs to be used. It came from a home where it was loved but not ever used, and now I don't want it to go back to a home where it's loved but not ever used. <laughs> but I do really, really like it. Um, so we will find something to do with this. I just don't know what yet. I don't know. So back in the little box, a little foxy pouch. It still has that fun new leather smell. Alright, so then the third thing that I got is also from the Buy, Sell, and Trade page. Um, and it is a little different because it's not brand new. It is a Planner Society kit that I've been wanting that is partially used. It's not the full kit. And parts of it... Um, like this, you can tell, like, she's already taken this and and made things. Like, she made dashboards for a planner. And when you look at these, like, she used these. Like, these have scratches on them. Um, that's the swan one, if you can't tell. It's kind of hard to, to tell. Let's see. Oh. There we go. It's very pretty, but I don't use a punched planner, so I am not sure what I'm going to do with that. And when I bought this, um, 
I wasn't aware that she had already used parts of the kit. I knew it wasn't a full kit, but I didn't know she'd already cut and, and kind of zhuzhed up some of the stiff. So like here's two of the pockets that she's already put on a laminated little dashboard, which I mean, she did a great job, but it's just not quite my style. I wouldn't use something like this. Um, I do like, you know, how she's put it all together. It's just not quite my thing. So if I can't find a use for these, which I can't imagine I couldn't, even if I don't use them, um, I could easily, I've had a request for ring planners in my shop since I usually do traveler's notebooks or happy planners and I'm going to be doing one uh, in two months I want to say I have it planned out I have every I have all my products planned out so if I don't use these for myself I can always figure out how to use them in a product to for someone you know as just an extra freebie so we'll, we'll see but and there's a dashboard I think that she had made doesn't look like a B6 size, maybe an A5. So here is everything that has not been used. So we have some pockets that are really pretty. I really love this one. I'll be using that for sure. And then the little swan pocket has not been used, which I really like. And this pretty little purple pocket. I like this one. It's not quite my style, so that one may end up in a fully loaded notebook as well. This looks like just a scrap probably from where she made that dashboard. Let's go through the papers first. There is still a full sheet of the suitcase vellum which I really like so I'm glad about that and I really love this paper so I've got kind of a square sheet. She must have used part of this one and two of the purple and black and white sheets so obviously this pattern was not her jam either or <laughs> she would have used them uh, this paper the rest of the she had like what a little bit of this one and then there's the full sheet so I'm really glad about that because I really like that one and it goes I believe I could be wrong yeah with this pocket that I really like so I will definitely be putting those in one of my planners then she did include some of the journaling cards. Maybe. And I tried to go back and check the listing to see like if it said partially used, but I can't find the listing anymore. So, you know, is what it is. So you can see where she's kind of put some of these together with die cuts and then punched them for her planner. It's not a bad thing. It's just not what I thought I was getting. I do like these. So I will definitely use some of these. It's a lot of cards, so I probably will put some in planners as I work on them over the next couple months. It is a fun avenue for supplies that I like, but I don't necessarily want to use for myself when I'm making these fully loaded notebooks. It's I just toss some of this stuff in there. That's really cute, but just not quite my style. And if it goes with the planner I'm working on, then great, because whoever's getting it will probably appreciate it. And then she included the two bows that went with it. And I really like this one on the right. This, I think this bow was the reason I bought this. It's just so cute. And I think it will go perfectly in my cruise traveler's notebook. I think I must have moved one of my lights because I have to get a little bit of a shadow. So there's that. Now, the other thing I was going to share with you real quick was... Uh, the gal who sent me the Foxy Fix included quite a few extra goodies. This is only some of them. So she included all of these and then three Happy Scrappy notebooks. Those are put away, but I'll show you all the freebies she sent me. 
I don't know why she included them, but the gal I ordered the Planner Society kit from, um, I don't know, like, she'd used part of it, which kind of was weird, and then this gal included all this stuff that I didn't order, so, I don't know, universe karma balanced it out, I guess. So, there's four little, I really like this one, journaling cards, find your tribe, love them hard, hard, just wing it, life, eyeliner, everything, it's a good model to live by, I mean, I don't really wear eyeliner and I definitely don't wing it but I like the same my cat is apparently going to sit back there and jingle her collar in case anybody was wondering what that was and she included these little vellums they're definitely b6 size so they could go in this planner if I wanted to use them and they are from happy scrappy So I don't know if she included all of this just because she had it for this planner size and never used it or what. I don't know. All right, so then she included these vellums. I don't always love the black and white thing. It's not my style, but I love this little bow. How cute is that? New year, new feels, new chances, same dreams fresh starts. Always be kind. I like that. I like this kind of, um, pattern. It's kind of glitzy. I like that. And then the black and white bow vellum with the little rhinestones. It's really cute. And so these correspond with two of those journaling cards I showed you and this little it's like a clear transparency and if you peel it up it's sticky on the back so you could put this over something and it would just be an overlay I'm not 100% sure what I would use it for but you could definitely use it for something it'd be pretty to make it coordinate go ahead and stick it in there since they match all right, and then the last thing she sent me, I saved because it's my favorite. I will definitely find space in my planner for this. So these are acetates. I love acetate, and they are hard to find in pretty patterns, and these have some pretty patterns. So she sent me two, three of them. So this one is kind of a blue uh, floral. It's really pretty. Then we have this one. It says Chic Happens, which sounds like something else that starts with an S. And then this one, I really like how simple this is. It's just clear with the floral in the corner. And then it comes with these dash tabs. So you have today, month, let's see, week, and to do. They're of course hard to see because they're just cut out of that pattern, but they're very pretty. And so these are from Planner Press, and since they coordinate with these acetates, I'm assuming these are also from Planner Press. So thank you for sending all those extras. I was not expecting it. And I went back, I did find that listing and went back and double checked that it wasn't in the listing and I didn't just like pay for it and not realize it. But it definitely was not in the listing. And I asked her like, did you mean to send all this stuff? Like did you mean, maybe mean to send it to somebody else and I have somebody else's order? <laughs> nope, she just included it. So. I don't know, but it's pretty. I really like those freebies. I'm still really confused as to why some of this kit is used, but it is what it is. Not much I can do about it now. I'm definitely, I think I'm going to keep this out so I can put it in my planner because I've been needing a pocket for receipts, so that would be perfect. But that is everything from 
today's planner haul. And I hope you guys liked it. I know I did. I know it was kind of a strange planner haul. It wasn't like a lot of stickers or stuff I ordered from shops. Maybe I'll label the video like buy, sell, and trade planner haul. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.